Good morning, everybody. Pastor Ken here. Great time to get the day started. Not exactly sure what time. It's around 3 o'clock in the morning somewhere. I got the Word of God in front of me. I'm reading the Living Bible. I'm in the book of Psalms. I want to read some precious, precious truths for us. Psalm 27, 13 and 14. I am expecting the Lord to rescue me again. Obviously, David had been rescued by the Lord many, many times in his life. Felt the power of God upon him. He'd experienced God intervening to give him supernatural strength. Here in this verse, he's saying, I'm expecting good things from God. I need God's help, and I'm expecting he's going to come through. What are you expecting to happen today? Are you looking for a God setting today? Expect good things to happen. Expect positive things to happen. It'll help you even when difficult times seem to come. It'll help you. It'll feed your faith. Our expectations, well, that's just exactly what I expected. I get nothing but bad things. That, no, 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 stop right there. Stop right there. God's a good God. God is a good God. Count your many blessings and see what God has already done for you in your life. Expect good things to happen today. I expect, you know... <laughs> Let me slip over here for a minute, okay? Let me slip over here to chapter 30 and read a verse for you. His anger lasts for a moment, but his favor lasts for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Charlotte talks about God's favor all the time. She lives expecting God's favor. She moves around in the realm of trusting God to completely take care of everything she does, the favor of God. And many, many times I'm sitting back like, The favor of God. That had to be that had to be a God moment. And she said, Well, God's got lots of grace and mercy and lots of favor that he gives me. I believe in God's favor. Back to 20, uh, chapter twenty seven. What are you expecting? Verse thirteen. Are you expecting God's favor or God's punishment? Are you are you expecting that God loves you or that he's disappointed in you? God's a good God. He loves you today. I'm expecting the Lord to rescue me again. So once again, I will see his goodness to me here in the land of the living. God's a good God. He's good all the time. Verse 14, don't be impatient. I have to just pause there and uh, say I got something to learn there. Wait for the Lord, for he'll come through and save you. Be brave. Be stout-hearted. Be courageous. Yes, wait, and he will help you. 
One of the hardest things that I have to do in my life is learn to wait. You would think at this point in my life, I would have learned it already. Just because you get older doesn't mean you necessarily learn those lessons. Uh, uh, sometimes it's part of your personality and part of your character to be challenged in some areas of life. By nature, I'm not a very patient person. But there's something I can do about that. I can pray about that and I can recognize that that's an area I can grow in spiritually and I can discipline myself to, you know, wait and see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Uh, God's good, you know. Have you ever thought that uh, being impatient could place you in trouble? For instance, for instance, say you're in a traffic situation and you're backed up or they're stopped even, and 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 you got somewhere you want to go. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> and you're tempted to get tempted to drive right down on the green <laughs> along the side of the road and use that for your road. No, 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 no. God may be sparing you from a situation up ahead that you don't know nothing about. Take that take that opportunity just to talk to the Lord and enjoy his presence. Enjoy his presence. Let's back up here now a little. Are you expecting something good to happen today? I sure hope so, because God wants to pour his favor out upon you and that's found over in chapter 30, verse 5. His anger lasts for a moment. His favor lasts for a lifetime. Weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. Don't be impatient. Expect the Lord to work mightily on your behalf and come through for you. Be stout-hearted and courageous. Sometimes you just have to forget about your feelings and just buckle down and say, hey, I'm just going to bite the bullet and hang in here and be tough. That's what he's saying. He says, if you wait, help will come. So I pray for you today that you will have a day of expectancy and believe God and you will trust God and you will experience joy coming in the morning. And uh, even though you've had a hard night maybe and you wept all night long, it's morning time. Expect good things today. It'll feed your faith. It'll help you to have a right frame of mind. Okay? Everywhere you look today, expect God's favor. Say, oh, wow, that really worked out, didn't it? That's God's favor. God's looking out for you. God's back, got your back. Hey, you have a great day. PK here, signing off. And uh, thanks for taking a moment to uh, respond in some way. Thank you for that. To God be all the honor and glory and praise through his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through the power of the Holy Spirit in our hearts on the basis of his holy word. May you have a great day. Keep smiling. Folks, I wonder what you're up to. See you. Bye.